Hi, and welcome to another video in the Time to Change series by The Practical Disciple. I'm John Arnold, and today we're going to talk about scheduling. Uh, yesterday, I dealt with interruptions, and I was saying you need to leave a block of time later in the day so that you can deal with things that pop up. And we, the day before that, we were talking about uh, your big five, five high-value tasks that you're going to put at the front of the day. I want to underscore some of the things that were said in that video, uh, add a little bit to them, talk more concretely about them. Uh, if you don't have a day timer, you need to get some kind of day timer system. Um, I use a seven minute daily life planner and I'll talk more about this later in a video. I, I love this thing. I don't know how I'd get through my day without using it uh, because it consolidates everything I need to do in one place. Uh, but what I want to point out today is that when you create your 5 before 11 list, I take every task I have on my 5 before 11 list and then I put it down as an appointment that I need to be at. So anything you put on your to-do list, you should schedule a specific time where you're going to do it. Otherwise what happens is you go into your day and it's just kind of like I need to get this done and I'll get to it eventually. Uh, so actually write down a time, you know, 2.15 I'm going to call Bob, or at 3.15, I'm going to go record that service. Now, whatever it is, so for instance, I have here, I had sermon post, uh, B and T, that stands for Bible and Traff, I'll get into what that is at another time, uh, plan my week, uh, blog post, Traff 2, and over here I have Bible and Traff, sermon post and plan week, blog post, process email, and then you'll notice I have in parentheses from noon to two I put margin. I schedule all of the things that I want and need to get done early in the day uh, on the front half of the day. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a person I know once was talking about finances and they said you always pay yourself first that you go through and you set aside the time you need uh, or you set aside the money you need for your projects and then you go to the other things. Now. Personally, I think you need to pay God first and I tithe, uh, but the principle there in terms of time, uh, you want to take and put what's important to you at the front end of the day before other things crowded out. I kind of mentioned that yesterday. You leave a margin later in the day, you'll notice from noon to two, I have margin. Now what margin does is it allows a space for anything that comes up that I hadn't planned on, I could work on it then. And this reduces a tremendous amount of stress and it also, uh, it also reduces a lot of overscheduling. Now I have enough stuff that if something doesn't pop up and I have that margin there, it's not like I'm sitting in my office going, I don't know what I'm going to do for two hours. Uh, that's not the case. I have other projects in mind that I can work on during that time if nothing else comes up, but I set aside a block in case something does. And I can't tell you how much stress that reduced. Uh, I kind of first learned this when I was working on a huge project. I was on a uh, Habitat Blitz build where we were building a house in a day. And it was a couple weeks before the build and things were just building tremendous momentum and my phone was ringing off the hook. And I had a board meeting and at the board meeting I had probably 15 phone calls that needed to be made. I delegated all of the phone calls because I told them I know that by the time I get back home I'm going to have more. I was creating margin by delegating those phone calls. And sure enough I came home I had like three phone calls waiting on my answering machine for me and it's like I'm so thankful that I had given those tasks away to people who could do them and I had left myself margin. So build margin in uh, your scheduling by putting your Take every to-do, make an appointment for it, take those, put them at the front half of the, the day if, if at all possible, and in the latter half of the day, leave and schedule a place for margin. And so there you go. That's your tip today for today and time to change. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.